Y'all ready? I will have the enchilada. Hey everybody, it's me Katie. I'm gonna show you our favorite Mexican restaurant in Florida. What you drinking? This is Del Carmen in Dade City, Florida, and it is our favorite Mexican restaurant. We're going to show you the food we get here, and we're also going to show you what the town looks like. This right here is natural pineapple juice, one of my favorite things to drink. If you go to a Mexican restaurant and they have real natural pineapple juice, it is a must try. Start off by eating some tamales as an appetizer. You get an orange sauce and a green sauce. <laughs> what you think? Steak chimichanga for me. More of a Chevy guy, but I will tell you that floor looks clean. Alright guys, so welcome to Dade City, Florida. We just had some Mexican food. Kid, what are your thoughts on that Mexican Amazing. food? Amazing. Yeah, pretty much one of the best Mexican food towns in Florida. Just take a little drive around town now that we've uh, gotten some to eat. We're in uh, Pasco County, which is a very interesting county. And Pasco County is one thing along the coast and a completely different thing far inland this is just more country and rural over here in this part of town you know inland it's just so it's a weird county like one thing of the county is on the coast and then another thing of the county is over here inland but this is really like i would say old florida in a lot of ways really cool town and it has so many restaurants for being a small town the amount of restaurants here is impressive it really does have an impressive collection of small towns and it's a really neat small town it really is it's a, it's not a rich area it's a poor area it's it's a inland pasco county you know it's not a rich area for sure but it's still a pretty cool little town for sure in a lot of different ways and you'll see stuff like these streets here that are kind of cobblestone, big old trees. It's really a very country place. And we hear a lot of bad things about Pasco County. You know, there's two sides to that coin. There's the Pasco County we like to see on TV, the cops TV version. And there's like this version, more rural type of scenario. So this is the Pasco County. That's a little bit more country, more family oriented. Big oak trees, rolling hills. It really is kind of nice and pretty out here. And this town again does have a lot of poverty. It's not a rich town, but um, you know there are little parts of the city a little bit rougher. Uh, I think we covered a lot of that in the other video. That we did here but on today's video i just want to show you guys kind of a little bit of the nicer side the more kind of historic and prettier sides of the city the type of town where you see squatted trucks running down main street you know um, it's got a very country vibe you know like the whole day it's just like a parade of uh squatted trucks running down main street Country vibes, lots of little corner stores like this. It's a lot of tricked out cars, people with sound systems and rims, and of course, a lot of squatted trucks. Um, it's it's definitely a southern town. You can see here, 
front has a little bit of squat to it, not a whole lot. You think with 300,000 subscribers, you'd figure out not to be able to do that, mm -hmm. but they don't. Having some YouTube problems here. People think YouTube is just record, upload, publish, and you're done. And there's more to it. Sometimes you have people that take your content and then they copyright your content as if the, your content was theirs. And, and then when you go through the filing process, then they delete the content. But you still get the copyright strike because they filed it. And now the video that they used doesn't exist because they deleted it. What a nightmare, you know? What a nightmare. subscribers should figure out to be authentic and not have to do stuff like that and then you have another situation where like YouTube if you drive down this road and somebody else also drives down this road YouTube thinks that you stole that person's content because you both rode down the same road I've had that happen where YouTube thinks let's say I drive down this road and I copyright it and somebody else drives down this road YouTube's machines that are built in figure out, well, you both drove down the same road, so instead of it thinks you copied the other person. Ah, oh, it's a nightmare, it really is. It's not as fun and easy as people would think it is. Got a Bravo supermarket. Not cool at all, man. Look at this. Not for our, our laundromat, and it says on top Spanish and English in both languages. It says it in both languages. Open 24 hours. So it's pretty cool that's open 24 hours. People here work hard, you know? Got some uh, pretty famous groups coming in Central Florida here. Small town, Bravo Supermarket. Not bad. Had, uh, um, just pick up those nails, man. I mean, crap, I just had to put a tire on this side and it was $250. Bro, where we at? I'm like here in Day City and the Bravo. Yeah. Ale, what is your Instagram? Este, junior underscore Sixtos. Okay. Yeah. What type of music you throw together, bro? Corridos? Cor yeah. Yeah, tu sabe. I love, I'm Cuban, but I love the Mexican music, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. I love that, bro. I love my corridos, bro. Hey, nice truck, bro. AT4. Yeah. Clean, bro. Hey, sigan trabajando duro, primo. Ya tu sabe. Saludos. All right, bro. Look at that truck, bro. AT4. Look at the size of that truck, bro. I think it's a beast. Beast, bro. Pretty cool. So I'm making my YouTube video, and they got a YouTube channel too, and they're uh, they're Mexican artists. They do Mexican American uh, corridos, which I love Mexican music, bro. So I, <laughs> it was pretty cool to meet them. And um, I'll put you know whatever their information is on there, so you guys can see it. But you know, there's a huge Latino community in this town, man. And um, you know, Florida's getting a little bit tough for us Latinos, uh, but there's so many of us that are born here that, you know, this is this is our state, you know, and these are our communities, but little town, but you see everybody got big trucks, you know, everybody's just, like what I noticed when I was eating at the restaurant is everybody just rides downtown, everybody just cruising downtown, showing off their trucks. There's um, kind of like a small town vibe here, kind of like what we had when I lived in Alabama. It's like a little small town vibe where everybody goes cruising through town, you know, showing off the trucks and all. So it's a pretty cool vibe, man. It's a nice little town. And Pasco County has some pretty cool, cool um, country vibes on this side of, of Pasco. You know, and again, so different from the beaches. I on the way here, I drove through a farm. And this, I don't know what, this farm must have been... I don't want to exaggerate, maybe 20, 30, 40 acres. And it said, Hacienda El Cielo, which is like Spanish for the, the estate of the sky. Giant gate up front, you know? Big, giant gate. And, um, so there's a lot of Spanish money here. There's a lot of Spanish business. And there's a, a lot of uh, Spanish community here. Spanish money, you could say. Mucho dinero Latino aquí. Out of state, I don't know. I would figure it at least has to be in the millions of dollars. I mean, it's 
the gate alone with their family emblem or whatever, that was just like, wow. It's one of those like Ocala horse country type of places, you know, you just see, you're just like, wow, look at that estate. But it was cool to see this, this name of the ranch was in Spanish. So yes, this is definitely one of my favorite towns in Florida. It has a small Spanish community. Um, it's also a pretty good sized African American community, country vibes. Uh, you kind of combine all of the best of Florida. You combine the Spanish with the country, with the African American in this area. You have influence here from all of Florida's most dominant cultures. Um, and it makes for a place that has good food, good vibes, awesome people. It just combines all of Florida's cultures into one place. And you're not far from Tampa, of course, so pretty cool. And it's nice to meet people. Um, also other creators like myself, you know. I saw them hawk the horn the first time, I was like, maybe it's not about me. Just kept it moving, but they wanted to see what's up. I love their truck. I wish I had a truck again. Man, I miss my truck. But with our YouTube channel, we travel. And I was spending $800 a week on gas. That's $800 a week I can spend on hotels and not traveling. <laughs> so, as much as I miss my trucks, I know I can't do it. But that's uh, Dade City. Nice little town here in Florida. It, it is a weekday. It's, it's a small town. It's not like a big city. It's not going to be crazy wild. But it's one of my favorite places to come because they got good food. Easy access on Interstate 75. So let's say you're driving to Naples or Fort Myers. You want to get some dinner late, you know. It's not, it's like, what, eight, eight minutes off the highway, you know. Come here to Del Carmen, get some good Mexican food. Get back on the road, keep it moving. Uh, one of my favorite little towns in Florida. And um, I know it doesn't look pretty around here, but some of the estates on the outskirts of the city are gorgeous. Are there inner city spots that are kind of rough? Absolutely. It's got its good, it's got its bad. But... There's also a lot of great things here. And we got subscribers that live here already. So shout out to all my people that live here. Un gran saludo, los quiero. Checking out from Pasco County, Florida. A different side of Pasco County. We do a lot of videos on the other side of Pasco. So you guys the homeless camps, you know, US-19. Uh, but there's a different side of Pasco County um, that's a little bit better in its own ways. And Pasco County, I get so much love out of this county. I mean, when I'm working on the other coast of Pasco over here, a lot of our subscribers are from Pasco. So if you're watching for Pasco County, a big hug and a big salute to you. Thank you for being here with us. 